Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Non Farm Rolls Friday. Non Farm Payrolls Friday. September 7th. We're here uh, just before the European Open. Taking a look at things predictably quiet overnight pre non farms. We had quite a move in Dollar CAD uh, very late last night when Wilkins, a BOC member, said they're going to change the language. Uh, he was hawkish. And we went from a very bullish day in Dollar CAD to an incredibly bearish day. That uh, is bearish engulfing to a T. New high, closed well below the previous day's low. We've already made a new low today. Canadian employment numbers are out today. Um, this is probably worth playing on the left hand side on a strong number. Uh, especially because a lot of shorts would have stopped out above 07. Uh, it looked very compelling up there at the time. The stocks were collapsing. Dollar, you know, Euro was going lower, Euro Yen was collapsing, oil was collapsing looked quite good so a lot of shorts would have uh, capitulated above 132.07 which leaves uh, the market in general cleaner at the high end of the range which is rare um, so on a strong Canadian number today we look to trade the left hand side uh, let me just note obviously with the US component coming out as well this can be incredibly uh, unpredictable so if the US number comes out super strong and the Canadian number comes out super strong uh, there can be difficult uh, first five minute volatility uh, in the releases here so this will be predictably hard to trade but I just wanted to mention it our horse for a strong US number is going to be Euro through 05. Uh, same low here, just short term pattern here. Looks like a bit of a pivot. You could be safe and say we're going to sell this through the figure. We were in core short uh, yesterday and then we squared last night. Um, just kind of take the money and run kind of a thing but a strong number today let's say above uh, 240 and then uh, this is going to be our horse 116.05 and then eventually we want to look at this 115.30 in the back of our minds is still um, Italy which is going to uh, get smoked or get in trouble or start the fire or whatever metaphor you want to use uh, this is coming up yesterday euro yen big big drop core short paid couldn't quite couldn't quite uh, sustain the new lows today but we did uh, make a new low in the week 128.24 this to me is of course a little bit of risk off you can see equities as everybody knows went down to 69 yesterday 71 the low today um, three mildly but not wildly red days in a row here each of them with a tail um, so they didn't close on the lows this isn't wildly bearish by any means this is, I would say, mildly bearish, um, but bearish nonetheless. That helped Euro Yen lower, uh, and also I think the market, like ourselves, is just preparing for this uh, problem in Italy. So Euro Yen is is the horse uh, for that trade. Aussie continues to uh, trade poorly. Selling high ones is is the way to go. Today also you, you might be able to sell low ones. This uh, awkwardly enough, 71.45 is probably a break trade. Uh, the problem with it down here is 
this whole sell Aussie idea, which has sort of been in play now for a good two months, uh, is now getting a little bit stale, and so there could be a short squeeze coming soon. Um, so we're not going to be playing Aussie today, but it sure doesn't look that strong, does it? Keep in mind also, if dollar cat collapses, this will create some sort of superficial pressure uh, to buy Aussie. You know, if CAD appreciates a ton, there'll be certain Aussie CAD flows that, that make Aussie rise. What else? Uh, emerging uh, minor turn here. You want to accumulate RAND, dollar RAND between uh, 115 and 115.10. You want to be core long. This is far from over. Uh, I would say second inning now. Uh, so we'll be in this sort of consolidation period, uh, similar to this move here. So we have this move up, turn, turn, turn. This is basically one big ass consolidation. 14 basically holds. Zing. Now we have this up here. We're looking for consolidation where 15 is going to hold and then imagine two weeks from now we are going to zing uh, higher again so on a week one today uh, you might be able to steal some uh, dollar rand at the lows all right my only my best advice is to take the morning and try and visualize what you think is going to happen write down your trading plan and then and then follow it good luck there guys uh and gals i will uh i'll see you guys on monday at the european open ciao